Hey, Shad here with Speed Axe, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're going to uncrate the Troy Lee Designs D4. Before we jump in and break down the Troy Lee Designs D4, go ahead and subscribe. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. Okay, Troy Lee Designs, they're actually located just down the way from us here in Orange County, California, and they make some of the baddest mountain bike and moto gear on the market today. When we go out riding around here, I mean, it's just it's uh, top to bottom Troy Lee around these parts. And the reason is they make great looking stuff, but it's also very high quality. When it comes to full face mountain bike helmet protection, they have three different helmets. They have the stage, which is more of an enduro focus. And then they have more of the park or downhill segment in the D3 and then the D4, which is what you see on the table in front of me. The D4 is the granddaddy and it comes in two different shell constructions. You can either get the composite, which starts at 395, or you can step up for 550 and get the full carbon fiber model you see on my right. This is the stealth gray and this is the new lightning graphic for 2022. The main difference is that shell construction and thus a weight savings. It's only about an ounce or two, but you know, ounces count. So if you want the lightest, baddest one on the market, you go with the carbon. We're gonna keep this composite version on the table to give you the full rundown. The helmets are identical other than that shell construction. I almost forgot to mention, if you pony up for that carbon fiber version, you get the deluxe carrying bag instead of the standard kind of helmet sock that you get with the composite. So that's one upgrade that you get for your money there. Okay, let's talk about weight. So when it comes to weight, the, uh, the fiber, sorry, the, the full carbon weighs 2.2, whereas the composite you see in front of me is 2.3. Pretty small difference, but ounces add up. So if you want the lightest thing, again, go with the carbon. When it comes to the homologations, there are too many to list as far as safety goes. So we'll, that'll be down in the description if you wanna see all the different certifications that the D4 carries. You're also gonna get a three-year warranty from Troy Lee. Let's talk about shell sizes. So they're using three shell sizes and three EPS sizes. So you have a six total size range and you go from extra small all the way up to two extra large. The helmet runs true to size. Go by that Troy Lee sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And remember, if you buy your next helmet from Speedax, not only will you outride your buddies next time you go out, but we offer no cost return. So if the helmet doesn't fit, you just decide it's not to you, a couple clicks on speedax.com, you get a free return label. You can send it back, get a different size, get a different helmet, get your money back. It's all up to you. Shop at Speedax and we'll treat you like family. Just make sure that helmet that you return is brand new in original condition with all the packaging. Okay, enough of my shameless plugs. Let's talk about ventilation. One of the main things you're getting when you're stepping up from that D3 up to this D4 is just tons of ventilation. So for a full face, like park downhill style helmet, you're just getting as much ventilation as possible. They have big gills over here. You got your chin bar vents, and then you've got just a huge array of crown vents here that's just gonna keep this helmet blowing, which is especially important if you're not just riding in the park, you're climbing. You know, this is the one to get if ventilation is important to you. You got them down low, you got them here, here, here. And these are not just for show. When I show you the inside of the helmet, you'll see those go all the way through that EPS foam. So you got a, tw a total of 24 vents, 14 in the front, or sorry, 10 in the front. And then on the top and back, you got another 14. So crazy amount of ventilation that this helmet flows a ton. You have an adjustable visor. So you do have a fair amount of play in here. You can loosen this up and move that up and down. And uh, these are meant to shear off in case of an accident so it doesn't pull on your head, but they do have three connections on the visor here. If we flip this over, we'll show you what's working inside and on the bottom. You have traditional D-ring closure here, no surprises there. And you're also going to have emergency quick release chin cheek pads. If you haven't had those in a helmet before, it is a nice safety feature in case EMS has to remove you from your helmet. They're gonna do so by sliding these cheek pads out of the way first, and then more easily pulling the helmet off of your head. So D4's got those emergency release cheek pads. The other thing that it does have is that collarbone relief. So collarbone or injuries are relatively common in moto and, and, and uh, mountain bike. And more and more moto and mountain bike helmets are coming with collarbone protection. So hopefully if that impacts your collarbone, it does not break it. That's one thing the D4 has, again, that the D3 does not have. Inside of here, you're gonna see full protection around this chin bar area. Should you make impact or contact with that chin bar, they do have plenty of padding up in the front. And then we're gonna remove the cheek pads so you can see what they look like. They have these cutaways, whoops, up here 
so they're, they're nice and comfortable. They don't come more forward than you need to. You have a little uh, jawbone relief there. So let's pull these guys out of the way. We'll show you what's going on inside. The liner and cheek pads, of course, are removable, washable. They're made from the Troy Lee X-Static Quick Dry XT2. That's a mouthful, but what it means is that it has antimicrobial properties and hopefully won't funk up your whole gear bag. And uh, again, take these out and wash them every once in a while. Your, uh, your riding buddies will thank you if you don't smell. There you go. There's the other cheek pad out of the way. I'm taking it out kind of the standard way, not the, uh, the quick release or the emergency way. You just pop them right out. Okay. Once I get this headliner out of the way, what you're gonna notice is that there's this green or yellowish uh, fluorescent liner in the back. And what is that? That is MIPS. I'm sure you've heard of MIPS by now. You've at least seen the name out there when you're shopping for how much more and more helmets have MIPS technology. That is a third party technology that's installed in lots of helmets, including the Troy Lee D4. And what that does is it's a low friction liner behind the comfort liner that allows your head to slip inside of the helmet. If your head is slipping and not sticking, that energy is not going into your gray matter. So you want to slip and slide inside of this helmet when you make impact to deal with those uh, angular momentum so that they do not go into your brain and tear stuff up. So the D4 does come with that MIPS liner and you can also see behind that liner, you can see those ports and channels in the EPS. They're gonna allow all that good air to flow through here and keep you cool. We also sell all the replacement uh, cheek pads and headliners. If you wear yours out, you can buy replacements and uh, refurbish your helmet because this thing's going to be good for a number of years. Again, truly standing behind it with a three-year warranty. If you want to shop for the D4 or plenty of other mountain bike helmets, go over to speedx.com and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.